All right, we have got a classic 1983 Atari Star Wars upright. Close my door here, so keep out the noise. Um, this is a color vector game, as you know. It looks in the video here like the monitor's like flickering and, and whatnot, but that's just my camera. I mean, in real life, the picture looks perfect. It's been rebuilt, but there's something to, about the, the frame rate on these newer cameras that... I don't know why, but monitors always look all messed up in the pictures and the video. But anyway, this is a pretty good solid cabinet. There's no water damage, or if there is, there's very little. It's not like one of these ones that was in a flood or anything. It's a solid cabinet, not really falling apart anywhere. Um, maybe a little bit rough around the edges in some places, but not bad. Um... The red is a little faded. Well, it's very faded on this side. The only red is like on that X-Wing fighter. On this side, it's not faded. So, um, no, let's see. I don't see any busted corners. Yeah, I don't see any busted corners on this. The, um, the marquee... Yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed. This can be replaced. There's a, a new overlay you can put on this, and I didn't put one on. It needs one, though. You can tell. I just, uh, it's embarrassing. I just used black electrical tape, and it came off and got wrinkled there. But, I mean, that's something that you can replace yourself really easily. Um, or you could just do a better job of taping it down than I did. Either one. Uh, CPO's in good shape here and on the controller. Controller's working really well. Uh, monitor has a great picture. Everything works. I got a new bulb up there lighting up the marquee. I got new LED bulbs down here on the coin door. Working quarter coin max. It's got the original coin box for what it's worth. Um... And uh, this is running on all original hardware. This does have the 6100 monitor in it. It does not have the Amplifone, which to me is a good thing. Uh, some people prefer the Amplifone, but I'm a lot better at, at getting 6100s working and keeping them working. So it's been rebuilt and works just fine. And these can be really reliable. I've got an upright Star Wars just like this in my arcade, Arcadia. And I think maybe in... 14 years I've been open I think twice I've had to um, replace one of the deflection transistors other than that it's worked flawlessly um, so yeah I've got it on free play so you can just hit the trigger and it'll start a game as good at this with one hand, but it's easier to play this with one hand than a pinball. I was heard that if you hit Darth Vader's ship like 200 times or something, I don't know what, what else that would happen. Something would happen. I don't remember what. Somebody, if somebody knows tech, put it in the comments of this video. Because I always try to hit his ship as many times as I can, but I've never, it's never done anything for me, so I don't know. I don't know what that wife's tale is. Or legend. It's kind of like that legend of the Phoenix game where you hit three diagonal birds and you're supposed to get uh, 200,000 for that. I've never been able to pull that off either. Or the, uh, the legend of the Galaga where you wait like 10 minutes on the opening screen with the right guy on the screen and they stop shooting. I've never been able to do that either. Ah! Ah! That was the last tower. Here we go. Got him. Alright, now you know about using the force. If you don't fire a single shot in here and you just avoid all the fireballs, you get um, a big bonus when you get to the down to one shield. I'm not going to make it here. All right, well, so much for that. But anyway, it's a great game. Um, 
I am going to sell it in Arcadia Auctions number four because I need to get that auction going and I, I've just been slow about getting other games ready. And I also need some higher dollar games in that because I need to pay the other half of my property taxes. So I'm hoping that this Star Wars will help me with property taxes. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.